What's up guys, so if you're watching this video, you probably have the same issue that I'm having. So on my BMW E90, uh, my windshield washer fluid just keeps leaking out. Every time I top it off, within like a couple days, it's already gone. So obviously it's leaking somewhere, maybe the reservoir is cracked, maybe something's going on. So I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can possibly fix it. All right, so what you wanna do is get on the passenger side, you're gonna remove the wheel well, obviously you're gonna jack it up, remove the wheel, and then start to remove this little uh, fender line in because the reservoir is right here. It's right in this little area. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, let me not forget, make sure to like and subscribe, obviously to help me out. All right, so to take all this liner out, you're gonna take this thing off, this is a 12 mil. And then under here, if you look underneath right here, there's a little T, I think it's a T25. I'm not 100% sure. Oh. And then you're gonna take these little, you're gonna take these little guys off. I'm just gonna use a, a flathead, just like pick them off. You have one, one, two, three of them. You have a 10 mil right here. I'm pretty sure that's a 10 mil. And then another 10 mil, right? So right there, right there, so right next to each other. And that's pretty much it. And then this whole thing should just, this whole entire line should just come right out and then you'll see the reservoir right here. All right, so these little things wouldn't come off with the flathead, so I'm just gonna try to kind of prime off with these little cutters. I mean, I'm not gonna cut them because I'm gonna have to reuse these, but I kind of just want to grab it. I guess I use these. I just want to grab it and pull it out. Oh wow, yeah, those are really in. break them all right I'm gonna take uh, this bottom thing off it's not a t25 it's probably a t30 and I don't think I even have that all right so this little piece under here um, it's just a little plastic piece I just took my flathead and just started unscrewing it and it just came out so that's that was pretty easy right next to that torch you're gonna have a little uh, 10 mil so I'd probably get a little extension and then get that guy out Oops, I was tightening it. <laughs> yeah, just don't tighten it like I just was. Make sure you loosen it. Alright. Alright, so this was the thing underneath, just a little plastic thing, so put that to the side. This was a 10 mil. Okay. And then you have another 10 mil right in here. I'm showing sure you on the camera. So right there you have a 10 mil to get. All right, then you have some eight mils. So you got one right here. Take that off. You have one right next to the strut. In here. And you have two next to the strut. Power tools would have really helped with this. So after you get those two next to the strut right here, right here, there's one last one right there. All right, so there's one more of those little 10 mils. Looks like this. My wrench is on it right now. It's right under there, so you wanna take that off as well. I still can't get these off. I have no idea why. I'm just, I'm just gonna pull on this and hopefully they pop out. Doesn't really look like they're gonna do that. All right, I gotta figure this out. All right, so I don't know if you can see on camera, but I definitely ruined these little things. I just had, there was no way. Like these things were not coming out and I probably have to get new little, little rivet things now. But I got most of it out. So hopefully we can just, Yeah, so these were just like, st like look, even bent. I gotta bend these back. This one stayed in, and this one just came right off. So that kind of sucks, but oh well. So here's your reservoir. And now you gotta just take this off. I believe that's probably a 12 mil. 
and then this thing should come up. So look, it goes all the way up like that. It's pretty big. All right, so after I took uh, the reservoir down a little bit, you can already see where the water was leaking. So it's from this pump. You can either get a new pump or you can just JB weld it. So that's what I got. I got some plastic JB weld stuff. So I'm gonna gunk a bunch of J JB weld here and then hopefully it uh, doesn't leak anymore. All right, so this is the stuff I got if you wanna buy it. It was pretty cool. So here's what it looks like. So you just take it out of the little box. You start like uh, like mashing it up so it gets warm and then you put it on here. <laughs> this looks terrible, but um, I guess it'll harden or it'll cure in an hour. It's supposed to get really hard like steel. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit and uh, yeah, hopefully this works. All right, so update, sorry about the noise. I don't know if you can hear it. There's like people doing uh, like cutting trees outside or something like that for the power lines. But update, uh, I put the fluid in, the washer fluid. It's been a few days and everything's fine. It's working great. It's not leak or anything. So that little jerry rig fix I did worked fine. And yeah, if this video helped you out, make sure to like and subscribe to help me out. And I'll see you guys next time.